Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey, and here let's check out the top new games made with Unity for May of 2021. My goal with these videos is to highlight what can be done with the engine, so you know the only limit is really just your own imagination. All of these games are uniquely impressive and showcase the power of the engine in tons of different scenarios, so the list is in no particular order, except for the number one game that is my personal pick of the month. There's links in the description for some of the games, those are affiliate links, so if you use them it's the same price to you and you'll also be supporting the channel. Alright, so let's go, starting off at number 10. Over here is Patch Quest. I know this one because I've seen some devlogs of it on YouTube on the channel named Patch Quest. They are great videos, so check them out if you want to see the game being built. It calls itself a roguelike metroidvania fusion, where you can mountain ride every monster. So you grab your lasso, throw it, and capture a monster. Depending on what monster you're riding, you have different skills. It's a pretty unique concept, and it seems to work great with tons of unique monsters for you to try out. There's a large world to explore and tons of wildlife to collect. Visually, I think it looks great, nice and cartoony, it's very inviting. Also supports two-player local co-op. So it's a very interesting game, check out the whole YouTube channel to learn more about it. And possibly one of the more anticipated releases of this month is Subnautica Below Zero. I still haven't played the original, but I've heard great things about it. This one takes the original game and plays in the Arctic region, so this time it's all frozen. You start off with little more than your wits and some survival equipment, construct habitats and vehicles and use them to explore and discover uncharted biomes. Research some alien lifeforms to see what lives in this world, but always keep your guard up. Not all creatures in this strange world are friendly. Like the name implies, the weather is cold, so make sure you survive the low temperatures. If you've played and enjoyed the original, you'll certainly enjoy this one. And if you didn't play the original, then you can still jump into this one and still enjoy the world the devs have created. Next up here is an interesting one, it's a paranormal stealth action tactics game named One Han The Beginning. You play as a young Korean girl who was killed in military conflict and returned from the dead. You turn into a ghost and possess living creatures in order to exact your revenge. Stay out of sight, dash through walls, possess enemies and use their weapons on themselves. Visually it looks relatively simple but mechanically very interesting. Then get to work with Farm Manager 2021. I've briefly played Farming Simulator a long time ago, but I've never tried this series. It focuses on logistics, plan your field work according to the seasons, look after the animals, take care of the machines and the staff while reacting to the changing weather. There's tons of plant species to grow, observe them and automate the harvesting procedure with your employees and all of your machines. Purchase all kinds of agricultural machines to make your farm a lot more efficient. Take good care of your animals, everything from cows to bees, sheep, goats, chickens, and even fish. Survive the harsh winters and ensure your crops are prepared. Do it all right and your farm will grow. By the way, if you find the video helpful, please hit the like button. It's a tiny thing, but it really does help. Thanks. Then, if you're like me and you find cleaning things to be very satisfying, then check out Power Wash Simulator. There's just something about starting with something completely dirty and making it perfectly clean that's just so appealing. Fire up your power washer and blast away every speck of dirt and grime you can find. The soothing sounds of the water make this a very relaxing experience. Build up your business in career mode, although there's no time pressure. Just chill out and do the job. It's a simple gimmick, but it's a fun gimmick, and based on the over 500 very positive reviews, it seems the devs have created a very relaxing experience. If you want some dark and gritty action, here is Tainted Grail Conquest. It's an infinitely replayable, story-driven, deck-building roguelike. You build your hero from 9 unique classes to choose from, build your deck with hundreds of unique cards and abilities, every time you fall, you rise again. Complete quests, save NPCs, and build your village. For some retro FPS action, here is Viserifest. It's a sci-fi single-player area FPS, lots of unique enemies to defeat, and of course, lots of unique weapons as well. Navigate handcrafted levels stuffed to the brim with secrets using keycards, complete puzzles and various objectives. Juggle your resources by constantly managing your ammo, health and armor, move super fast, bunny hop to gain more speed and control yourself whilst in midair. Collect tons of items and level modifiers to make each playthrough exactly unique. If you're into gorgeous pixel art, here is Lost Ruins. Really good looking visuals with tons of particle effects and some nice smooth animation. Fight your way through a dark and dangerous world in this 2D side-scrolling action game. Choose your accessories that will grant you all kinds of unique effects, slash away your enemies or use magic to your advantage. It's already got a ton of very positive reviews, so if you're into the genre, check this one out. 
Then if you want to survive a siege, well here is Siege Survival Glory Evictus. Your medieval city is under siege and only a handful of civilians are all that's left, so instead of fighting the invaders yourself, your goal is to support the very last soldier standing. Build out your camp, manage resources and craft your supplies. Venture out into the occupied city to scavenge for resources and new recruits, stay unseen or suffer the consequences. Help is coming, but it's weeks away. Keep your people alive and fed, make the right choices and survive. And finally, at number one for my personal pick of the month, here is Before We Leave. The first thing you notice is the very unique visual. It's a hexagonal map on a round world. I love the way that the clouds dissipate and the new tiles are discovered. It's a non-violent city building game. Build settlements and manage resources. Sail around the seas and explore the world to discover new lands. Your main antagonist is pollution, so keep that in mind and avoid the mistakes of your ancestors. Colonize other planets and set up trade routes between them. A non-violent city builder is a pretty neat concept, so I'd love to try this one out to see how they make the game engaging while only fighting the environment. Also, there are space whales. Alright, so that's 10 awesome new games made with Unity launched in May 2021. If you want to be a successful indie game developer, you definitely need to keep an eye on the current state of your competition. I make these videos once a month so I can keep up to date with what's coming out, and you should too. Check out the full playlist to see some more awesome games made with Unity. Do you have any other hidden gems you found this month? Let me know in the comments. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.